up, my niggas. Every day we hustling, nigga. Every day. Every day, nigga. We back at it, nigga. We back at it. It's Monday, motherfucker. Got this goddamn line across my head, bitch. Got that scarf line. Okay? Whip it real hard. Whip it, whip it real hard. Nigga, what we talking about today? I think I might talk about uh, Pose. I was so emotional yesterday, y'all. That baby husband had died up in that hospital, y'all. Wait, do I want to get this emotional this morning? We don't. I don't know if I want to start off the week like this. Hold on. Cause that baby almost made me cry yesterday. Hold on, y'all. Let me get myself together. Let me figure out if I'm gonna touch in the pose, y'all. Let's try to see if I can rub this line off my forehead, bitch. Cause I, I can't do this video with this. What is that, nigga? I'm behind, so I'm gonna touch back into the Mother's Day um, episode real quick with Blanca dealing with her sister and her brother with her mother's death. Like, I felt like that was really fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Especially for his crackhead ass brother to treat him the way that he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, number one, nigga, you a whole fucking crackhead. Who the fuck would want to wake up and be gay? You understand? And I try to explain this to someone before because I've had uh, uh, battles with thoughts about women you understand what i'm saying like things happened to me when i was younger you know what i'm saying and it wasn't with or by a man it was by a girl you know what i'm saying so it was just like i battled with thoughts as a child and as an adult thinking about women in a sexual way i'm not going to say i've never dealt with women before because i have but you know what i'm saying I, i'm just not an active bisexual you know what i'm saying but i think women are beautiful you know what i'm saying it's not something that i battle with it's just something i choose not to do but no one wakes up and decides that they want to fucking be gay to my experience with me being touched on this shit as a child y'all watch your children around other children in these daycares because as an adult now it makes me think and wonder what the fuck were these other kids being subjected to in their house like we were probably like only four five years old or some shit like that maybe younger than that i don't even think i was kindergarten age and it was just like what the fuck were these kids being exposed to in their house where they were like touching on other children like this especially a girl touching on another girl in that way you know what i'm saying so anyway i'm gonna skip on past that um the way that they just shun him her excuse me blanca it, it just it just really hurt my heart you know what i'm saying and then find out later on in the episode that you know he asked his sister like did his mother ever ask about him and he was like and she was like no and it come to find out later on when it came down to that little cooking cookbook and shit because that was an area that blanca bonded with his mother with her mother on i'm sorry y'all y'all please forgive me um keep saying his that is something that she bonded with her mother on you know what i'm saying the cooking they bonded in the kitchen and none of the other children had that connection with the mother in regards to that and then for them to try to take that from blanca i just felt like that was fucked up and i'm just so glad that the sister came to her shit and ended up knocking on blanca's door and acknowledging her as blanca and not whatever um his real name was you know what i'm saying so like that was just my thoughts on the Mother's Day episode, and I'm so glad that she finally came to what type of house mother that she was, and confronting um, her house mother, the one of, uh, you know the real Chrissy bitch, what, what, what's her name, the chocolate goddess girl, I forgot what the fuck her name is, why is her name, Electra, I'm glad that she confronted Electra, and even though that, you know, Electra was a fucking bitch, Electra was a fucking bitch, that was her mother, and she told her, you know what I'm saying, I don't know, what part of the game the person that took me off of the street and became my mother i don't know what part of the game fucked you up and you got lost there and you just got so shaded and jaded but you're the only mother that i have left now and regardless if we get along or not like you know what i'm saying i gotta acknowledge you for that and even on, on you just had bottom surgery you know what i'm saying and nobody none of your children are here but me and that, you know, that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? It always works out like that, don't it? Watch who you shit on, because you never know who'll be there holding your hand on your deathbed. Yeah, so that was real deep for me. But anyway, let's dig into yesterday's episode, my nigga. This episode was really all about Pray Tell. Oh my God, that episode was so 
Oh my god. I mean, I'm literally about to fucking cry now. So the whole meat and potatoes is that pray tell lost his, 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 I'm not gonna say his boyfriend, his life partner, his husband. That was his man. You understand what I'm saying? That, that was his man. He lost that man in that nasty ass motherfucking hospital. And that's the thing that really hurt me. Like, back then, I guess, you know, people were just so limited in education of exactly what. HIV and AIDS was oh my god they treated them so horrible and that boy that was you know the dancer with the dance teacher oh my god just the way they, they depicted it young I swear to god like I'm all too proud right now because I just can't get the thought out of my brain of the boy twirling around and he just gets so dirty oh my god woo y'all like I'm really getting emotional but um through the whole episode pray tell kept playing this song um I don't know the name of the song. Y'all know my memory sucks, so y'all don't get on me. And y'all know I'm just learning how to do these fucking reviews. And I'm going, I'm doing this shit off the top. So y'all just gonna have to rock with me. So, Pray Tell kept playing this fucking song over and over and over and over. And he was just acting a little erratic. And honestly, ever since he got diagnosed with HIV, like, he just necessarily hasn't been taking it well. And who would? Everybody can't be blunt you know what I'm saying? So the crew tries to confront him about his drinking and the fact that he keeps playing this song over and over and over. Craytail goes deep, fuck all y'all. And the man that plays Billy something, he is a phenomenal actor and a singer. Oh my god. When I'm trying to tell y'all when they had that dinner and they try to confront Craytail at that dinner. Pray tell read everybody down fucking boots, bitch. Blanc had to be like, look, you not about to motherfucker read my motherfucking children in my motherfucking house. You not about to be coming up in here disrespecting it in my house. Now, I understand that you going through something. And then goddamn pray tell was a hold on, bitch. Now, you could have pulled me to the side, ho. If you felt some type of way about the music that I play, bitch, and I can play whatever the fuck I want to play, bitch. Y'all hoes need to stay the fuck out my business. I think he said some shit like, bitch, you ain't a G-string, you, so stay the fuck about my ass. I ain't never seen nobody get ran down so fucking bad, bitch. Oh, my God. Even the little drug dealer one at the end was like, oh, well, shit, that went well. <laughs> Oh my god, that shit was so horrible. Pray tell went the fuck off on them, honey. Tell ends up going to the hospital to go visit his man. And he's like, oh, watching TV and shit. And his man was like, look, turn that shit down. I need to talk. And, you know, he's just like, man, I'm not leaving this hospital. I'm going to fucking die in this rat fucking hole. I need you to get to grips with that. And when I die, I want you to cry your heart out. Cry your heart out for 24 hours, and after that, I want you to let me go, and I want you to go and live your life. And he told him, said, I know you had this disease too. I can tell it. I can see it in your eyes. Man, to have to have a talk with someone about that, and to be on the receiving end of that, for your partner to tell you, you know, I know that you have this disease too. And I know that every day that you come in here and you look at me, you're looking at your future. And that's that's why you have, you have that look in your eye. I'm trying to tell you, man, I am all tight right here up in the throat, my nigga. You know, like when your mother was about to whoop your ass and you about to start crying and shit like that. And you got all tight up in your throat and shit. Cause you, yeah, nigga, I'm like all like that right now, nigga. I do not want to go on my job emotion. Y'all. Oh, my Kodak. <laughs> Know that. Oh! Hold on. I got enough, I got enough. My bad, let me over, bitch. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I had to get some happiness in me because. <laughs> Sorry, motherfucker, motherfucker, pose was taking me down, bitch. You can't take me down on a Monday, bitch. I still feel emotional. Even after all that, I still feel emotional. Okay, let me get through this. 
Because I'm gonna have to do some kumbayas or something because I cannot go into work emotions. Do y'all see the my eyes, nigga? Do y'all see the emotion in my eyes, nigga? Okay, hold on. So, right after all of that and shit like that, Raytel went home and he got that home. Baby boy had that. He died. I don't know if I can finish this, you guys. Hold on. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, I can't even remember what happened. I just, I just can't do it. Um, it was too emotional for me, and I'm about to cry, nigga. I don't think I don't want y'all to know this side of me. I don't want y'all to know the inner me, the sense. Try to know the sensitive red, yeah. I don't y'all just can't know me. Oh, I did not think Pose would do this to me. That's why I just I ain't been reviewing it because I slightly ain't been watching it and I because I, I've been late. And then when I do watch it, it just be fucking me up, man. And I know a lot of people they've been complaining about you know how much the HIV and the AIDS is a part of the, the story. Look, it is a part of the fucking story. It's reality. And especially for the people in the community. Look. It's our reality too. If for heterosexual people, it's our reality too. Every day that we have unprotected sex with somebody. Every time a wife or a husband lays down and have unprotected sex with their spouse. We're praying to God every day that they're, that they're being faithful and that they're... We're putting our life at risk, too. It's a part of sexual history, okay? It's hard to deal with, but it's reality. It's something that we have to face. And, and millions of people have to face and deal with every day. So, ever you won't brave through it, deal with your emotions. You know what I'm saying? If you got to cry, nigga, cry. Just like, nigga, my ass felt like I got to cry this morning, but I'm going a, I'm to a G the shit out, my nigga. I ain't gonna finish no more of this review. I just everybody was in, happy and bliss, and and that's it. Cause I ain't trying to remember nothing else is gonna make me cry this motherfucking morning. But motherfucker, why you gonna stick your ass out there like that? Why you showing your ass, nigga? Get your motherfucking motherfucker Assad, Assad, and his motherfucking goddamn taxi, fucking up, fucking up, Assad. You know, when someone said, goddamn, Assad gonna be a sport-ass motherfucking baby, because, um, goddamn, DJ Khaled raising him to be a sport-ass fucking tyrant. I, I slightly believe that. And shit, I know I just wanted to go off on that motherfucking, um, hold on. Hey! Hold on. Kiki. Yeah, they gonna be like, red to you love me, bitch. Hold on. And I need this bitch, they need me. They down for me, bitch. Hold on, they say race is your ride. They say race don't you leave, bitch. The way you be cooking and the way you be. <laughs> bitch. Anyway, let me let this shit go. I'm having a few minutes. I'm trying to tell y'all I had to reach and get this. Drake is the one that can do it. Only the scorpion or scorpion love, he's the only one that can bring this out of me. After me going through all that with Bones, nigga. Okay, thank you, Drake. I swear I should have ran a little bit more than a hot comb through this shit, cause I I I know my fucking hair, and I just was being lazy yesterday, but it's okay. Uh, do you love me? Are you riding? Are you gonna hit me in my DMs and fly me in and wanna see about my good stuff? Cause you know I ain't gonna leave. Yes, Drake. Anyway, let me get the fuck on. Bye, y'all.